Hello, and welcome to today's lesson on finding proper images. <clears throat> so what we will do is we're starting at our Pemtech website on the 5.8 launch page, and there's a link to Creative Commons search. So again, this is kind of like Google, where it's helping you find images, but it is not a site that you can actually list as your source. So when I get to this page, I have lots of options of what to search, and we're not using this for commercial purposes, so we can remove that check mark. And some of the easiest are Google Images <clears throat> because they're easy to, to save and download. Now, let's say I'm going to search for an image of, let's see, how about angry, uh, angry muskrat? All right, something that I needed. So I'm going to type that in. I'm pressing enter on the keyboard and I'd already clicked. I'll go back. Sorry. These are not muskrats. Um, I already clicked on Google images. There we go. Let's see if we can find an angry muskrat. Oh, this one looks pretty angry here. <clears throat> As we hover over each image in Google, it will show us down here in the bottom corner how big the image is. Essentially, the larger the image, the better the quality will be. But what I will tell you, in order for it to look decent on the screen, I would say you're looking for at least about a little bit over a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels is what I would do as a minimum. This one right here would probably pixelate a little bit because also if you look, it's taller than it's, it's uh, not like our screens. Our screens are widescreen format. And this one, about that much of the bottom would be cut off, so we'd have to stretch it even more. So this would probably not be the best ad, uh, option. Now the other thing we can do in Google, instead of just looking at each one of those, under Images, under Tools, so right here, Tools, there's a Size option. And you're going to look for Large Size. And now everything that we find are bigger images. The other thing is, right now, if I, that does not look angry at all. So if I, let's say we take this one right here. If I go to save this right now, I only have a tiny thumbnail. It's not the actual image. So what I need to do is click on it. And I'm going to two finger click, also known as a right click. And I can open this image into a new tab now. When I go over here, now I'm seeing a full size image and this is the one that I can save and it won't pixelate when I put it in my project. So again, two finger click or right click, however you want to call it, and I can go to save image as. And now I can give it a name, not angry muskrat. And I can put it where I want. So many of you will have a folder on your desktop. If not, you can make a new one and my angry muskrat project. And I hit save or create, sorry. And then I hit save. So now I have that saved right there on my desktop. Wait for it. On my desktop, right inside here. And I can go and pull that up later. So again, to recap, you're looking for large images. I recommend Google Image Search because it's easy to use that way. You're going to make sure that you are opening up so that the image is on a tab all by itself, full size. If it doesn't look big, then it's not going to work if you have a small one there. And finally, right click or I put down two fingers on the trackpad and click and I go to save image as and I save it that way. So that's your lesson on how to make sure you don't have pixelated images on your projects. Thank you.